This crushing hit is brought to you by Champ Sports, where sport lives. It's time for Defense 101. When we're through, you'll have no problem making life difficult for the offense. Your player is designated by the player icon beneath them. Use the controls to move your player around the field. Your player will automatically straight left or right, as well as backpedal with light pressure on the controls. Further pressure will have them run in that direction. To switch back and forth through the defenders, use the controls here. Before the ball is snapped, you can change the defensive play with an audible call from within the formation to one of three preset defensive plays. You can reset the type of coverage to bump and run or lose coverage, and canceling an audible is as easy as using the cancel button. Two specific audible controls for the Mac linebacker exist. Blitz Mac linebacker and Spy Mac linebacker. If at any time you need to change the type of pressure on any specific receiver of your opponents, you can use the control buttons to bump and run or play off the receiver. To see the formation with only the receiver's icons, use the Coach Cam button. To see the play as it's called, use the Coach Cam play button. These are zone defenses. And when the defensive backs are playing man-to-man, -man, it will look like this. To get into the action after the snap, hit the switch players button and become the closest defender to the ball. To avoid the block and get past your man when you're engaged, try the rip, swim, spin control. Use the turbo button to run in a sprint at any time. To lay out a big hit, use the tackle button. But your player is committed to as big a tackle as he can muster. This makes for awesome crashes, and you're sure to hear pads pop. It is also nearly impossible to correct from the commitment, and you could end up with nothing but air. During the game, you may notice the quarterback is favoring a particular receiver. Use the coverage maneuvers controls to have your defensive backs converge on this guy and make it nearly impossible for him to complete the pass. To highlight the linebackers' restrictions, a box graphic will appear on the field. Remember, the linebackers in arena football are watched closely by the officials. During the play, only the MAC linebacker can leave the box, and only when rushing the quarterback. The MAC can blitz right or left of the center, but never outside. There's an easy way to call a timeout. During the gameplay, you don't have to go to the pause menus. You can call timeout by pressing the in-game timeout button. Now that you've learned the moves, get out there, lay some hits, and pull off some big stops already. Jeez! This monster hit is brought to you by Champ Sports, where sport lives. Okay, here's the thing. Arena football is intense, fast-paced, and hard-hitting. Before you run out there without your chin strap fastened, I'm going to show you how to use and understand all the information available to you through the telemetry systems. Let's start on the field. This is the telemetry icon. It gives you a clear indication of the player's fatigue levels through the ramping color scale. Red, of course, is very bad. Fatigue is a good way to measure how well a guy is going to do his job. An exhausted player will be noticeably worse than he would be otherwise, whether it's blocking, throwing, running, catching, or in coverage. So how do you use it? Well, you can use the controls for a few of your own team with a quick flick here, or both teams like this. Either way will allow you to see the telemetry for the remainder of the game. However, a meter will drain just a bit when you choose to view both teams. But don't worry too much, the same meter will recharge eventually. Don't want to give you everything. All right, now for the real beast. Play call telemetry. There are three categories of info you can get from the play call screen. Activate the telemetry feature like this, and you can cycle through the various screens. You can use this info to fill your on-field strategies. First, we'll go over the detailed fatigue screen. During a game, certain activities will fatigue certain attributes. Running will fatigue a player's speed. Getting hit hard or sacked will rattle a player's awareness. Constantly breaking tackles will wear down a guy's ability to break tackles. 
you get the point. This is displayed in the telemetry by the player's thermal silhouettes. Each body part is representing an attribute or a combination of attributes depending upon their position. The hands on a quarterback will reflect his throwing accuracy, and the hands on a wide receiver will reflect his catching ability. Some things are the same. Legs on everyone is generally speed, and the head portion reflects awareness. I'm not gonna go over all the details here. Most of it's common sense. The most important part here is that you can individually view each person on your team as well as their position in the current formation and their assignment in the current selected play. This is a good way to see where your line will likely break down and which receiver is your best bet for a completed pass. Next on our list is the passing tendencies diagram. From here, you can see the precise locations of each pass thrown by the current offense, yours or your opponent's. Each dot represents a pass and its relative distance from the line of scrimmage wherever on the field that may be. Light blue is a completion. Yellow is an incomplete pass. Red, my favorite, is an interception. Finally, on to the successful score location. Displayed on the field representation is a line, marking each position where the line of scrimmage was when a score was made. Dark blue colored lines are passing touchdowns. Light blue colored lines are rushing touchdowns. Yellow colored lines are field goals. Okay, that's about it. Remember, information is knowledge, and knowledge is power. The more information you can get about you and your opponent, the more power you will have to move forward, make the right decisions, and get the W. Now go play some smart football. This monster hit is brought to you by Champ Sports, where sport lives. We're gonna go over this demolition brought to you by the proud sponsor of the AFL and your stop for all things football. Champ Sports, where sport lives. Welcome to offense. This punishment brought to you by the proud sponsor of the AFL and your stop for all things football. Champ Sports, where sport lives. It's time for Defense 101. This squashing brought to you by proud sponsor of the AFL and your stop for all things football. Champ Sports, where sport lives. This bruising hit is brought to you by Champ Sports, where sport lives. Welcome. Demolition brought to you by the proud sponsor of the AFL and your stop for all things football. Champ Sports, where sport lives. Welcome to the AFL, the All Fun League. On behalf of all the owners, players, coaches, and staff in the Arena Football family, I want to thank you for your support. You know, the goal of the AFL is to be the most fan-friendly league in all the world. And that's why this is your team and the AFL is your league. In recognition of your support, all of our players and cheerleaders would like to express their appreciation to you by signing autographs after the game on the field. For more information, you can log on to arenafootball.com. And thanks so much for being the greatest fans in all the world.